Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. This design is going to be a um, regular design for any occasion. It's a very common, popular, it's a flower. But I don't know if this happened to you. Sometimes kids say, I would like a flower bracelet. And when I think about why they say flower bracelet, you know, um, because I can make anything into a bracelet. Yes, adding the wristbands from the Dollar Tree that I already talk about this a lot of times, but I was at an event and it happened before, I just make it all with balloons and then the wristband at the end to make it into a bracelet. So I'm gonna show you the design. You can make the petals, that is gonna be the six flower petal. If you use this trick that I already show you how to do, that I seen it, the, uh, what is flower, the clown, that is one flower, he makes this type of flowers. So it's you blow the balloon all the way, you know, and then just throw it all together. I like that way. So I'm going to show you because if it's not, if you don't do that way, then it's going to be just make petals. So I'm just going to show you. So this can be a moment to also practicing your skills, your twisting. So what I'm doing right now is I'm blowing um, a balloon, an entire balloon, any color. You can ask the kid what color would you like. Now, if the kids say pink and purple, you can even combine colors. It's fine. But for this technique, that is the one twist, we're gonna just use one color and I'm using red because we are close to this season that is Christmas when you see this video. So it can be perfect for Christmas and this can be for you a representation of that flower very famous uh, on Christmas. <laughs> but I never say it correctly, but um, let's see. And I was thinking making into tutorial, but it's already kind of like, I don't know, maybe, um. I, I was looking for a picture. Anyways, okay, so you play the balloon all the way, okay? And then you lose the air. You hear how much air I'm losing? A lot. Because what I want is first when I little, have a little tip here, I make sure everything, you know, in the balloon is soft and squishable. That's the idea. So as more soft and squishable is your balloon, it's gonna be much easier to do this design. So you have this. Pretty much, this is how I make my um, flower. Um, usually, when I, I do line twisting, I split it in half. I twist this one of the uh, levels of bubbles, grab it and twist it. Look, grab it and twist it with both hands. Make a twist like this. Mm, bam. Okay. And then you're gonna make something like one on top and the other third of this balloon, like this okay so again how i do it pin and pin so then you have the idea there is all one twist here another twist there and then you're gonna grab again the same idea look you have it like this look how already my thumbs are coming all the way grabbing all this so my thumb are inside grabbing like this a ring you create a ring the same idea a ring grab it and then squish like this together so you are squishing a squish do this kind of couple of times so then it's getting easier then trying to grab all in another big circle grab it all and then grab one side and twist Please. now if you think it's silly what are you doing can you repeat or show me again look you can always go back again and watch this slowly but the thing is i also have a video that is the easiest way to make this design this idea this can be perfect for already the base for the candy cups it can be already the petals for a flower it can be the basic thing for um you know the bracelet for anything on top also you make this and then you just grab another balloon in half half and the other half and then go in a spiral so it can be a wand a lot of things basic technique i like it then you're gonna grab a 160 or a 260 balloon it's totally fine you're gonna inflate it and it's gonna be green because this is gonna be representing the stamp and it's gonna inflate it approximately eight or nine finger tail so what i'm gonna do first is squish stretch a little bit but squish is more important and then make pedals like three finger pedal and you make at least five of those so at least why because i think it looks better so squish and make. So that's gonna be the base for what, for me, it's gonna be the bracelet. 
So you can make one more totally fine. Why not? So it's gonna be six petals, yeah. At the end is minimum five twists, five petals, but if you can make one more, go ahead. You wanna make one more, go ahead, do it. But I think with this, we'll have enough balloon to now from here, you're gonna bend it like this, you're not going to be fast. And then kind of like when you are having something like this, look, it's like a little end, you have it like this, find the center, the center, look, the middle, and twist it. So it's make it soft and squishable, twist it, and then you still have balloon to make a pinch twist here and a pinch twist the other side. So this is something, uh, it makes things more stable. I like them, okay? And, and this is another way just to make a design that I think kids like it. When you are here, even if the kids say, oh, you can ask them, what is your favorite color? The kids say purple. You can grab always balloon scraps. I know people say, Cecilia, you are crazy with balloon scraps. It's like, oh, balloon scraps. <laughs> I love balloon scraps. And I recommend it all of you to have your balloon scraps. Why? Because uh, it may help to have things more, uh, what is, colorful. So look, I have a balloon scrap. <laughs> and I'm just gonna blow the tip. Now, on the tip inside, this is a 160 scrap. It can be a 160 to 60, it's totally fun. You can put inside a light, and that's gonna be awesome. So imagine, this is a light, it's just a little bit broken, but the idea, you can put inside. So then, the most important thing is you just, from the balloon scrap, you just need a little bit. Look, one bubble, that's it. And this can be what decorates your flower in the center. Yeah, so it's a balloon scrap. And again, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be like that. If you don't have to add any light, it's okay. You can make it as simple. I'm just giving you some ideas. And with this, you just measure approximately, what? Three or four finger bubble. And the rest, you can lose the air, lose the air, tie it, and make sure you have a little tip. So then you can just wrap it around, look like this and in this occasion this type of flowers i think they look great when the stem is in the middle in between two of the red petals now put things in proper position so that's the idea look how cool it is to make again with the minimum of two balloons because again this part can be green you will have enough balloon but also you can always add a balloon scrap. It can be white, white scraps. We have lots of white balloons, don't you think? So then, because I have a lot of these, and if you don't have a lot of these, go to the Dollar Tree and go find a hundred for a dollar twenty-five, which is really good price because you don't gonna feel like, oh man, this is too expensive to use one for each kid. At least it's totally fine. You just grab one, pass it through, and put it to the kid. Kids love this. Now, you don't want it to be as a bracelet. It can be totally for a headband. So this is a very cute design. It's easy, it's fast. And the best of all, I noticed the kids like it. And it doesn't really take you that much. This can be perfect for line twisting. This can be a beautiful way to make a flower. And kids love something like that. Instead of making just a simple long stem flower, the kids, you know, hold it, but sometimes they can lose it because put an escape and it pop anything you know on a wristband and with this design it's gonna be perfect so be stable kids have them it's not that small it's i think the perfect size for a kid and especially girls you know they want to be i love it now i hope you like it and tell me in the comments what do you think what other colors will you combine with this if for example you are in easter play with pastel colors for the petals but i think this is a universal design for any occasion that's how i it's a general design flowers and for sure you can keep it on your menu because it's really cool it's a really cool design i hope you like it again well candy cups yeah candy cups you can see this for the spring breaks uh, that will be cool awesome don't forget like comment subscribe and check out always on the description of all my videos you will find ideas how to collaborate with this channel because thanks to your collaboration this channel is getting much better one thing lots of videos lots of already content you can woof, spend days watching this 
tutorials because there are hundreds of tutorials organized for different occasions and them also having the more general you know designs but um i also have a playlist that is flowers so you can find this type of flower there and i think flowers and plants i think but there's always like playlists for food balloon you know figurines that represents food uh, also balloon figurines that represent animals balloon figurines for christmas new year's eve easter valentine's <laughs> many different occasions and if you have another idea what the playlist should i create let me know leave it in the comments that way I, as many playlists i think it's going to help this channel to have easier to find you know what you want next time because this is i feel it's the library of balloon twisting a virtual library <laughs> for balloon twisters and I'm very happy and I hope you can enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That helps a lot because I would love to end this year and with 10,000 subscribers. That would be awesome. And we are very close. It's like 9,200 subscribers already. So 800 more. <laughs> okay. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.